Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Astronaut in Peril. This is Astronaut, none other than Astronaut. Alright guys, today's vlog is something a little different. I'm actually going to be making this vlog about a video game. Normally, I do a whole separate series with the video games, but I'm kind of like having a merging of the universes because I have a really hectic schedule and I originally set out to do several different types of videos, but I'm going to have to like learn how to just kind of like put it all in a blender and turn it on and uh, put them all together <laughs> but before i get started with that i realize a lot of times i just start my videos off and i don't even ask you guys how your day is doing so i want to take some time to do that so just go ahead and tell me how are you doing today uh-huh mm -hmm. oh oh really oh <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> right right <laughs> Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> I've been there too. <laughs> now, wasn't that therapeutic? I thought it would be. <laughs> let's go ahead and get on with the video. All right, guys, let's get on with the video. So basically, the rumor mill is completely abuzz with this new information that's been released about Mortal Kombat 11. And originally, I was not going to do a video about this, but I've noticed a lot of fairly noteworthy um, YouTube channels have been talking and discussing this information so why not me so let's go ahead and get into it i have it pulled up on my laptop as you could probably see in this crazy like bootleg display <laughs> in my <laughs> the website sureyoucan.com has released all the information from this guy uh, his title is righteous hall 04 and apparently he has these connections to nrs netherroom studio and he is letting us know the 411 on the video game so i'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what is on here and you can decide for yourself again keep in mind none of this is official it's all rumor and it's all subject to change and it's also subject to be completely wrong all right, so I'm reading now. Here, it's me reading, I am reading now. Here's an interesting note to file under the rumor mill for the moment. Righteous Hall 04 has made some interesting posts in the Mortal Kombat X subreddit recently, potentially revealing some roster, gameplay, and release details about what will undoubtedly be NetherRealm Studios' next big project following the conclusion of development on Injustice 2, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, excuse me, everyone. I just get a little emotional when I see Mortal Kombat 11 on the screen. Claiming to have received information from a credible source on Twitter with connections to NRS, who supposedly leaked the entire MKX roster on his personal website back in February 2015, Righteous Hall 04 notes that MK11 is planned to have a roster of 30 characters, with 10 additional fighters planned to be DLC. This would make the game's cast slightly larger than Injustice 2's roster once it receives its full, um, full its all three full fighter packs, continuing a company trend of increasing roster sizes with each new game. Of these 30 combatants, 17 will be returning from MKLX, excuse me, MKXL. <laughs> Seven will be returning from previous games, with six of those being from old 3D era titles. And final, the final six will be new challengers. Oh, this is also interesting. He notes that the new game story will feature Raiden as the title's main antagonist, ooh, who appeared to be slipping back into his dark Raiden ways at the conclusion of MKX's story by leaving the beheaded, yet still immortal, fallen elder god Shinnok's severed head at Katana and Liu Kang's doorstep as the two established themselves as the new king and queen of the Netherrealm. Gameplay will remain chapter based with players switching chapters blah, 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 with, <laughs> with players switching characters throughout and will be longer than any of the four previous story campaigns that have come before it. It will also be borrowing plot elements from two of the series' 3D entries, 2004's Deception and 2006's Armageddon, which featured all characters introduced to the franchise at that point and were the last games set within the original timeline before 2008's Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe and 2011's Mortal Kombat 9. Do you want more? Do you want more? Characters who are only in the game as story mode NPCs similar to Sindel, Baraka, and Rain in MKXL will also be returning alongside brutalities and the much-loved variation system that defined the previous title. Any deceased characters from the previous games will not be returning to action. Sorry, Nightwolf, Sindel, Shinnok, Smoke, Cabal, Molina, Shao Kahn, Kentaro, Motaro, Baraka, or Striker players. May we honor the times we've had with them. 
He then mentions that 17 base roster characters he's seen lots of artwork and rendering for, and they are as follows. These are the characters that he's listing to be the main roster. Kano, Lee Mei, Noob Saibot, Bo Raicho, Johnny Cage, Shang Tsung, Jade, Dagon, Cassie Cage, Jackie Briggs, Frost, Kenshi, Kotal Kahn, Jax, Onaga. Hmm. That roster is really just not all that impressive. I'm just not even going to lie. Why even lie about it? Because it's just not that impressive. Going off of RK Classic Tower endings and the events of MKX prequel comic, it stands to reason that Sonya Blade, Aaron Black, Raiden, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Takeda, Liu Kang, Triborg, Tanya, Kung Lao, Kung Jin, Katana, Devra, Tremor, and Goro could all have shots at returning. Taven and Atara will supposedly appear in the game as story NPCs or cameos. Um... The source also elaborated on two of the supposed newcomers he's seen work for, Dominic and Selena. Selena is a dream goddess that apparently has psychic powers and can create things out of thin air and use them as weapons. Dominic is Kano's son and is part of the Red Dragon with Dagon. Supposedly, he hates his father. For those that may need a refresher, it was revealed that Kano was training up a son in his ending, with torture being the chief method, giving sufficient fruit to this supposed family grudge. Finally, the poster notes that Mortal Kombat 11 should release around Spring 2019, which lines up with the NRS tradition of making a new game every other year. It should be noted that this isn't the first time we've seen a leak regarding the roster of an upcoming NRS game, as the entire launch cast of Injustice 2 was leaked earlier this year uh, on 4chan by an employee working on that title's mobile game. During the company's long silence following the reveals of Harley Quinn and Deadshot at last year's GameCon. What do you think about okay that's the end of the book okay this is what i think to be perfectly honest with you um it has some credibility in the sense that you know that netherrealm studio is not going to just rehash the same game they're going to take completely different characters people that were missing from mkx they're going to put them in this new game so that some of the um old favorites can come back um so that they don't alienate some of their fan base who were really attached to some of the other characters who did not get included that right there is just a smart business decision so the fact that this leak brings up a lot of characters from the past that people really enjoyed and played with and were probably their main characters is not a big surprise and it's probably a very likely element to the story. Another point I would like to mention, one of the brand new characters that they mentioned, I believe her name was Selena. I believe there's some credibility to that because at the end of Jade's ending in Mortal Kombat 9, we saw that she, she I think she died uh, or at least went into a whole a trance-like state where she encountered some goddess or some woman who had some kind of ability and it seemed as if she was taking over Jade and then what's interesting is that that kind of carried over to MKX because if you notice Katana's ending she was being manipulated by Jade or by someone who had taken over Jade um, we see Jade with a hand that's being extended to Katana and Katana seems to be completely um, be, uh, getting dominated by this force that's coming from Jade so um, the idea that they might be creating a character named Selena who is a bit of a dream goddess who's able to do this would kind of explain maybe the interaction with Jade back in Mortal Kombat 9 and of course Katana in Mortal Kombat 10 and to be perfectly honest with you I honestly think that it would be very very smart for Netherrealm to basically do Mortal Kombat 10 but do Mortal Kombat 10 sequel and what I mean by that is don't necessarily try to do a completely new installment in the series, but to take Mortal Kombat X as a format and to basically kind of extend it because they put so much good stuff into X Mortal Kombat X. They created the variation system, which just made for countless hours of gameplay. If you mastered one, uh, one form of the character, you had two more forms to go and master if you wanted to. So the variation system was amazing. It was just very revolutionary. I don't think any other fighting game had ever introduced that, um, that kind of versatility with each individual character. So I think it would be very smart for NetherRealm to basically take MKX as the format for now and to create a sequel to MKX and keep everything intact in terms of how they structured that game, change up the characters a little bit, and um, just continue with the really well-developed storylines that they kind of began in MKX. To be honest with you, I have not, I still haven't gotten enough of MKX. I still want to juice that game for so much of what it is. And if they were to just 
make a sequel to MKX and keep everything intact. I think that would really satisfy a lot of fans, uh, the new fans who came in with MKX and the old fans who really were just completely reintroduced to the whole entire franchise with this new layout of all the characters, um, the new characters, the storylines, and just the how emotionally involved you just kind of got into it. I mean, it was just unparalleled. I think it's safe to say that MKX is just the best fighting game that has been really released. All right, guys, so you've heard it here. This is the rumor. I have read it. Now you've heard it. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I will be back with another vlog soon. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Astronaut out.